Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back. I'm Jeannie and I've been doing a lot of purple manis lately so I thought I would change it up and bring in some new colors. So since I wanted to do a springtime mani, I thought I'd do some mint colors because I haven't done them in a while and I think they are perfect for springtime. I'll be using all double dipped products today and the two colors I chose are Mint Craze which is a beautiful solid mint color and I decided to pair that with Whisper which is a mint base and it's got smaller glitters in it so it's got mint, silver, and iridescent glitters and I think they pair beautifully together. I'm gonna do a little nail art as well and instead of using gels I decided to pull out my acrylic paint pens. I got these on Amazon maybe like three years ago and I haven't used them in probably just as long so I decided it was time to break them out again because I remember really like using them so you can see here that some of them are open some are not. I actually bought this set way back when I first started dipping because I was doing a dark side of the moon themed Manny and so I wanted to use the pens to create rainbows. So that's what I'm going to use them for today. Hopefully they're not all dried out. And I decided to use these because I am going to be doing this on my dominant hand. So I am going to attempt to draw some nail art using my non-dominant hand, which is going to be tricky. Um, so we'll see how that goes, but I thought it'd be easier using the pens rather than gels and gel liners. And then if you're curious about my nails, I actually have a little bit of extensions that I built out. So I used the clear blue glow double dipped builder gel to build out these extensions. So that's what I have as my base. And then of course, a layer of peel base as well. So enough with the intro, let's get into dipping. So I'm gonna start off with my solid first. I always like to do solids first before I move on to any kind of shimmers, glitters, or foils because I don't wanna risk contaminating my solids. So I'll also be using my double dipped dip liquids. And don't forget, I do have an affiliate code with double dipped. You can use code purplish18 to save 18% off your orders. And it is a reusable code. I do make a small commission if you use that code. So if you do, I really appreciate your support because it helps me put back to this channel what I make. Per my normal dipping process, I'm applying a thin even layer of dip base to my nail. So I start my brush around midway to a little above midway my nail, and then I'll brush down towards my free edge and then up towards my cuticle line. And that's that way I have the least amount of liquid at my cuticle line to help avoid any flooding. And then once I've got that down, I'll dip into my jar. My preference is to dip. And you may have noticed that in the beginning when I opened the jar, I did give it a good stir first. I like to stir rather than shake. And that helps fluff up the powder and ensure that it didn't settle. So it makes it easier to dip into because it's soft and fluffy. And I'll tell you, this solid was super easy to use. I know sometimes solids can be a little bit splotchy. Sometimes they can be more difficult, but this one applied beautifully. So I'm gonna do two full layers of mint craze, but I'm only gonna show you one because I really wanna get into playing with the acrylic paint pens. Play the game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, sham, you the bad, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad life, ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took the red pill, I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how's it supposed to feel? After I finished my second layer of my solids, I'm going to go ahead and cap them in clear, activate them, and that way the glitters won't stick to my solids and contaminate them. So this is from Double Dipped as well. It's one of my favorite clears, and this huge jar of it makes me so happy. To be a legend instead of something you 
can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said Now that I capped my solid nails and clear and activated, I'm going to go ahead and move on to Whisper, which is my glitter. It isn't a super chunky glitter. It's just got small glitter pieces in it, but I'm still going to use my normal chunky glitter method. So for my first layer, I'm going to apply a thin, even layer of dip base, and I'm actually going to pour over. So I'm using my Dipped in Chaos by Chaos Concepts to pour into, and that's going to help pick up more of the finer glitter pieces, the shimmer pieces, the acrylic powder, and less of the larger glitter pieces. Not that they're large, they're really small in this one, but that's gonna help reduce bulk. And then for my second layer, I'm actually gonna pour my entire jar of Whisper into my Dipped in Chaos. And then once I apply my even layer of dip base to my entire nail, I'm actually gonna turn my hand over and lay it flat into the glitter. And that way I pick up some of the larger pieces. And this helps reduce bulk. And you know, if I want, I can do some glitter placement afterwards, but I find I actually didn't need to for this one. So I just left it at the two dips and didn't place any of the smaller glitters. To win it life, I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, but jam to the back. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing what I mean and I bring it to the mad life. Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail. I took a red pill. I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how's it supposed to feel? They wanna say my name, but they holding back. They wanna say they hate, but they know it's cap. I ain't play no games, I just do that's fact, and I don't feel no shame. It's a mood you lack, I go crazy. Nah, I ain't lazy. Track after track, I work on this shit daily. Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy. About to unpack all these shoes I've been chasing. I've got visions in my head, like memories after death. To be a legend instead of something you can forget. I'm living up every breath, I'd rather leave than be led. I'll fill the seats as I spread with every word that I've said. Went ahead and finished up off camera including my filing and buffing so now i'm giving my acrylic paint pen a good shake just to get the paint to mix up again and then i'm going to dab it on this post-it note just to get the paint flowing because like i said it's been a few years if not more since i've used it so i'm going to press down on the tip of the pen on my thumb to make a dot and then I thought what I could do is I could make that dot and then draw the circle out to make it larger. 
But what I found was my non-dominant hand did not want to cooperate. That did not work well for me. So I'm just taking some rubbing alcohol in a lint-free wipe and I'm just wiping it off, that off. So that's the great thing about acrylic paint pens is they are water-based so you can just wipe it all off if you don't like it. So I'm gonna try again and try a different way. So because my non-dominant hand does not wanna cooperate and cannot apparently do anything remotely close to a circle, I'm just gonna dab the tip of the pen to make the circle and then I'm gonna keep dabbing it down to make the circle larger because I just want it a little bit bigger but apparently I can't trace the circle. So I'm just gonna keep dabbing to make it a little bit larger. And I'll do that for five circles. So those are gonna be the petals of my flower. So because this is gonna be a flower that I'm drawing, I'm drawing the circles in a ring. So then once I've got those five dots down, I can kind of tie them together. So I'll kind of draw them all towards the center very carefully. That wasn't easy either. So I'd say it looks passable. If you look up close, you can definitely see how crooked and kind of wobbly everything looks, but from afar, they look cute. I will also note that because these are acrylic paint pens, they are air dry, so you wanna be really careful when you're doing your art or else you can smudge it. So I made my dots a little bit thicker because I didn't wanna go in with the second coat, so they did take a little longer to dry, but I wouldn't say it was an excessive amount to dry, but it just did take a little bit longer because it's thicker. So if you created thinner dots or lines or whatever you're drawing, they would dry a little bit quicker. So now that I have all my circles in my ring, I'm just gonna start from the middle of one of the dots and I'm gonna start drawing it towards the center of the ring. And I'm gonna kind of make it tapered to make that petal look. So I'm gonna do this to all five of the dots and then I'm gonna let it dry completely. So I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna start another flower and then when everything's dry, then I'll go in with another color and draw in the center of the flower. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, jam to the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad life, ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took the red pill, I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how's it supposed to feel? And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah, but I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on the sh** daily Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these shoes I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said
once I finished my flowers, I let them dry for probably a good five minutes because I did do them thicker. So now I'm gonna go in with this yellow and same thing, I gave it a really good shake just to make sure the paint is mixed up. I dabbed it, I kind of pressed the tip against the post-it note to make sure that the paint was flowing. And so now I'm gonna dab it in the center of the flower to make that middle piece. So I'm gonna do this to all the flowers. I'm actually pretty impressed these pens are still in really great shape because like I said I've had them for three or more years now and they are I'm using them like they're brand new they're not dried up at all so if I can find the link for them still or if I can find something similar I'll link them down below in the description because these are wonderful. I let everything fully dry. I waited a good 10 to 15 minutes because I wanted to be extra sure it was dry. I don't want to smear it. So now I'm going to go in with my Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat. I love this top coat. So I'm using Dip Top Coat and if I were to go straight in with my activator, it would smudge the acrylic paint. So this Smudge Free Top Coat is going to protect it. You can as well skip the Smudge Free Top Coat if you want to use a gel top coat and go in with your gel base and gel top coat. That would be fine. But since I'm using a Dip Top Coat, I'm going in with my Smudge Free top coat first and this is an air dry top coat so it probably dries within like two to three minutes it's fairly quick so I'm just going to apply a thick ish layer on top of my paint because I was just so afraid of it smearing let it dry and then we will go in and finish off with our dip top coat so my process for my top coat is going to be the same. So I'm going in with my final layer of activator. I'm going to start on the glitter nails because those don't have the smudge free top coat on them. Once I get to the nails that do have the smudge free top coat, I don't want to drag the brush on top of that top coat because you can mess that up. So I'm just kind of floating it on top of the top coat. But other than that, I'm going to wait two minutes for my activator to dry and then I will go in with the dip top coat the same as usual. So I'm going to apply two to three quick swipes on each nail and then once I have all five fingers done, I can go in with my second coat of my dip top coat and there I'm going to take my time. I'm going to make sure I get all my nails covered and I'm also going to make sure that I'm capping my free edge. And then within two to three minutes, your dip top coat is dry. Climb, the only way to win it life I never miss that fact Taking big swings, put your hand to the back Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag Cause I sing what I mean and I bring it to the mad light Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail I took a red pill, I know life's short So I wanna live real, but how is it supposed to feel? As always, I'm going to finish off my mani by rehydrating my cuticles. So I'm using my scales of a mermaid cuticle oil and this is in the scent golden, which I believe is from last year. It's a really great fresh scent that I love. So here we are with the finished look. What do you think? So. I haven't used my acrylic paint pens in a while and now I feel like I need to use them more because they were so easy to use and I feel like they were easier to control with my non-dominant hand because like I said my non-dominant hand usually doesn't want to cooperate so I usually don't attempt art on my dominant hand. Usually if I do something it'll be water slide decals or stamping where I don't have to try to hand draw something because not only does my non-dominant hand not want to cooperate, it is not steady at all. 
So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue creating content like this and also helps YouTube recommend me to others, which helps grow my channel. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I upload content every Monday and Thursday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I'm